Hey, good morning, Christopher. How are you? Good morning, John. Doing well. Doing well. Nice to nice to meet you face to face. Good. So my background, real quick, is I had a financial planning firm in Austin. Uh, I focused on retirement income planning, tax planning. Mostly, I sold what's called fixed indexed annuities. Sure. I don't know if you're familiar with those. Most are real safe. You can't lose your principal. And a law firm gave me a chunk of money in March of 21. And so I, I ended up having a capital gain event, which caused me to begin a deep, deep, deep dive in the subject of opportunity zones. <laughs> sure. The 2017 Tax Cut and Jobs Act, which was implemented in, in 2018, designated each state could choose the lowest income census tracts. And it's an incentive to get private equity to invest in areas they might have other, otherwise overlooked. Sure. So what I did when I sold my company, I had $54 million in, in business on the books, and then I had a no-compete for two years, so I bought a motorhome. I traveled 17 states looking at these Opportunity Zone locations, and I just, I chose Rockport because, uh, one, it, it's, it just stuck out as a, a great place. It's, when you think of low income, you, don't, you think of inner city, uh, Houston, Third Ward, that sure. sort of thing. Where Rockport was where Hurricane Harvey made landfall. Do you know Rockport by chance? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm familiar. And it, I could understand why you would want to develop anything there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it's a number one fishing destination. The arts community is here. But I bought an old hotel. And the incentive is to the investor is you get to defer your capital gain bill till 2027. Okay. You still owe it, you still pay it, but in theory, you're using the money for the next four years instead of Uncle Sam. And the big two incentives are when you sell, if you have been in it for 10 years or more, then all your gains are coming out income tax free, like a Roth IRA. Sure. And there's no recapture of depreciation wow. along the way. Okay. So it's, it's really uh, ironic that so few CPAs and, and very few real estate people and, and uh, professionals have taken the time to really understand the tax incentive, but a lot of money is moving, a huge amount of money, and and you can be any capital gain, crypto, stocks, sell your business, inheritance, so that's kind of in a nutshell.